friends. And if you guys are wondering how I'm creating both of these characters at the same time, all you need is literally to have a second controller, create a new profile on your PlayStation, and you can create two characters from scratch. What is up guys, it's your boy Hard Hat Dog Woo Man, head of the gaming union, back with another video in the constructive gaming zone. We are now at 107 subscribers, man. I cannot believe it. We're slowly growing. I'm so happy for every last one of y'all to be a part of our freaking community, man. I'm holding back tears, man. Like honestly, like this is a dream come true to me. I'm thankful to every last one of my subscribers, man. I love y'all. If you do not hear it enough, I'm thankful to have y'all. And I'm just happy that y'all are rocking with your boy because I'm rocking with y'all. Now today we got a special request from at darkflame7969 who commented on my Orochimaru build video saying, can you make a Naruto or Sasuke build? Anything for my subscribers, man. We all family here and you do anything for family. So I decided I'm gonna make Naruto and Sasuke for you, bro. So let's get into it. Now for my Sasuke build, Again, before I before I get into this, I want to I want to clarify. I don't like if I was to make these builds 100% accurate to the lore for for most fictions, every character would be a human, you know what I mean? And that's pretty fucking boring. So, the way I like to do things is like okay, so mixing the two lores. So we have Boulder's Gate 3, which is in the D&D universe. How can we mix what certain races and, and classes and stuff like that represent in D&D &D and kind of mix that with the personality traits and things like that of the lore of other characters outside of D&D. &D. So I decided we're going to make Sasuke a drow. OK, you may not be able to tell because I made his skin regular color because um, drows are usually grayish, purplish. So yeah, I gave him regular skin, but the game is going to recognize him as a drow. He's going to get discriminated against for that, and he's going to automatically be assumed as evil because he's a drow, just like the Uchiha's in Naruto. If you watch Naruto, like come on, man, like I, uh, I'm cooking in here, man. So look, you make him a drow, you make him a loaf sworn drow. Why? Because loaf sworn drows are born with red eyes. Who else was born with red eyes? Uchiha's and they're supposed to be the most feared kind of drow so next he's a sorcerer why is he a sorcerer because sorcerers are gifted with their magical abilities off the rip just from birth they're just automatically gifted from a bloodline so come on man like do I gotta explain it Uchiha's are gifted with the Sharingan and are and have a you know kind of a level up on other ninjutsu users because they can use their Sharingan to assist them with learning new jutsus and all of those types of things so they're just naturally gifted spellcasters so he would be a naturally gifted spellcaster which would make him a sorcerer come on man keep up with me keep up with me so Next, you're going to go to his cantrips. Now, the cantrips that we're going to start off with, Firebolt, Shock and Grasp. Firebolt because, you know, Uchiha's are well-versed in Fire Jutsu, Flame Jutsu, I should say. Shock and Grasp because he learns the um, Chidori. True Strike because it gives an advantage on your next attack roll. Now, an advantage on your attack roll is equivalent to basically... It's less likely that you're going to miss an attack. And having the Sharingan would greatly assist with that. And then his other one will be Minor Illusion because he is a Uchiha. They are well versed in Genjutsu, which is the Illusion Jutsu in Naruto. Next, we're going to go to Spells. And disguise self as kind of a Genjutsu type move so he can disguise himself, you know, make himself look like somebody he's not. And Mage Armor because of the Susano. The Susano protects him from attacks in the anime. So, you know... In this, it would protect the target from attacks, increase its armor class to 13, plus its dexterity modifier. And any Naruto character, I feel like their dexterity should be pretty high. So, he's basically going to have a high armor class, regardless. So, then you go to subclass. Now, his subclass, I pick sub Draconic Bloodline, because it gives him the spell Burning Hands, which is another fire ninjutsu. Now, you can kind of pick... 
any one of the fire uh draconic ancestries i picked red just because i don't know i just associate red with fire he did become a criminal with a hidden leaf um he was basically exiled and he planned on destroying it so you know you can make that his background but if you're feeling you know creative you can also it, again because this is going to be your adventure man so when you take him out there and you do your dialogue choices and you do your different paths you're really kind of writing your own little fanfic so if you wanted to be urchin because he did have a bleak childhood and all of that stuff and kind of want him to do things that relate to that type of uh origin you could do that but me personally i like the idea of criminal and because i started doing these videos and taking these types of requests um i think i'm gonna start playing through these because i actually am kind of interested to see what a playthrough of this would look like i was planning on deleting uh boulders gate 3 a little bit sooner but um now that i start doing videos like these i think i might keep this way longer than i intend to just to do multiple playthroughs with multiple different type of characters with multiple different types of origins and if you guys are wondering how i'm creating both of these characters at the same same time all you need is literally to have a second controller create a new profile on your playstation and you can create two characters from scratch and then if you want to have a full custom party you'll have to go to the hireling system uh which you can find from an npc that you have to rescue in a side mission but uh the hireling system is kind of pre-generated you can still customize the characters appearances and classes but their the race is predetermined and the body type is predetermined so you know that kind of sucks so hopefully they're going to give it an update i'm sure they will because larian has been going stupid with the updates um a truly 10 out of 10 game so back to it i'm sorry i i don't like to you know ramble on you know dumb stuff like that i want to get you guys straight to the point get you guys what you came here for so these are his stats. I gave him high dexterity. He's a Naruto character. They do the little hand signs a lot. So I figured, you know, that would probably, you know, equate to that. Every, everybody in the show, every female at least, loved Sasuke. So he clearly has some res. So <laughs> give him that high charisma, man. And he's a sorcerer, so he needs it to help with his uh, spell casting. Um, skills, I gave him Arcana due to the Sharingan. He should be able to recognize magic and interact with enchanted accuracy. I would say read people in situations and detect lies more than anything so maybe in size hit six you're going to want to go down to neutral tone four yeah neutral tone four go to let's see what else we got here you're going to want to give them heterochromia make one eye purple for the renegon make the other eye red for the sharingan and you can mix and match you can give them both sharingans because again you can still customize these characters appearances so if you're really in the role play man as you level him up you can you know act as if you're leveling up his sharingan and his eyes so you can start him off with two red eyes slowly i mean when he gets to mingekyo you could kind of make his uh eyes black with the red pupils so it kind of stands out and then you know you can switch over to the renegon and all of that as you level him up and start unlocking those renegon abilities which i actually might do in my playthrough i might make both his eyes red and when i unlock abilities that i could see being renegon abilities i would then you know make one eye purple and yeah and then you give him the bardic inspiration to give him kind of that haircut that he has in the end or in barto when he like kind of has one eye covered and that is our sasuke build Naruto Uzumaki build. I made him an elf. At first, I wanted to make him a tiefling because tieflings are discriminated against, kind of how Naruto was in the anime. But then I thought to myself, like, the horns and shit is just going to look weird. The tail is going to look weird. If you wanted to go with a nine tails Naruto kind of vibe, I would go tiefling, give him like the big horns, make the horns red, but give him like a normal skin tone. I think that would look pretty dope and would look pretty, um, pretty hardcore and kind of you know kind of fit the whole thing and being discriminated against but i also decided to make him an elf because elves you know have like this usually come from these royal bloodlines and all that especially um high elves um you know with his father being a hokage and all Friends. um which allows you to gain an advantage on charisma and we all know about naruto's talk no jutsu we all know about it and how he can talk down literally anybody um who you know isn't hostile at the time who's giving him the chance to talk uh so yeah this is this would be a cantrip for him so okay so change of plans i would still keep monk right but what you should do is multi-class at some point and at least multi-class to wizard level two and the reason i say that is because for one 
Naruto read scrolls to learn his first jutsu, which was um, Shadow Clone Jutsu, and it's probably more popular than his Rasengan. I'm gonna keep it a beam. I think Shadow Clone Jutsu is more popular than his Rasengan. And the ability you're gonna unlock is Mirror Image at level two for wizardry. Why is this important? You'll create three illusory duplicates of yourself that distract attackers, and each duplicate increases your armor class by three. Now, if you keep Monk, uh, I don't even know if you still have to go with way of the four elements because you'll have leveled into wizardry and you can probably find some wizard spells that can mimic Rasengan at that point and you know he eventually learns some other chakra natures and shit like that once he goes into his sage mode and all that cool shit so you can probably you can go all types of ways with a Naruto build but the main thing is you want to unlock that mirror image and you're going to have to multi-class into uh, wizardry for that because that is his most popular jutsu for sure 100 percent for sure so once you unlock that you will have a very accurate uh naruto build i don't think you guys know how excited i am to literally do this uh you could possibly even hmm i'm trying to think of like his sage mode his sage mode is like chakra nature yeah but that would still be monk so yeah monk you could go a couple different ways with monk it's really up to you i'm kind of just giving you guys the building blocks um and it's up to you guys to get you know creative because again you're going to be playing through this and you're most likely going to try to kind of keep it accurate to what the character would do um so yeah i think that would be pretty cool monk multi-class into wizardry so you can unlock that uh mirror image so you can duplicate yourself like he does with his shadow clones and you're in the game now, for background, I picked Folk Hero because he's the main character of the show. He's that dude. Everybody loves him. If you wanted to, you know, go somewhere else, I would say Urchin or Outlander since he was an outcast. You know, again, it's really up to you how you want to play through the game and what things do you want to earn extra XP for doing. Because that's what the Origins do. They give you extra XP when you do things that would match your character's background, which is a 10 out of 10 feature that I absolutely love about this fucking game. Um... I would go into Barbarian so he can get that Rage ability uh, because, you know, it's like when a Jinchuriki takes over, he gets that, you know, that extra power from being angry and all of that stuff, kind of like Super Saiyan almost. So I would I would multi-class into Barbarian too um, to get those skills as well. Maybe even skip Monk altogether, actually, if you want. Yeah, maybe skip Monk. I would go Barbarian Wizard probably. Because then if he's a barbarian, he gets that rage ability. And you can still be you can still be unarmored and un unarmed as a barbarian. Because I think I've made that before. Yeah, and as long as his strength is pretty high, you'll still do good damage. And you know, with Wizard, you'll be reading scrolls and unlocking all the spells that you need to mimic his Rasengan and Shadow Clone Jutsu and whatever other jutsus he's learned uh, along the way. I would say stealth because he is a ninja and acrobatics because he's pretty pretty agile. And then here are his um, appearance, you know, regular body type, male, voice doesn't really matter. This face, head six. Go to warm tone four, eye color blue six. And uh, so as far as eye makeup, you could kind of pick one of these if you wanted to do like the sage mode Naruto and just make it orange around his eyes, you know, even and then you can even give him like yellow pupils to kind of mimic sage mode as well. Gave him the rap scallion, which I kind of feel like is a nod at Naruto. I don't know. It just feels like that. It just feels like this is definitely based off of his Boruto haircut. But hey, give it yellow. You don't really need highlights. And there you have it, man. Thank you so much again to Dark Flame 7969 for asking for this, requesting this video. Um, it was a lot of fun to make. Please let me know if you guys want to see me um, do a playthrough with these two. Because I'm definitely going to be saving these characters. Um, I would definitely love to do a playthrough with these guys with these guys for you. So just let me know. I'm going to save them, and I am going to get out of here, man. Thank you guys. I appreciate every last one of you. I love you guys. And you have a wonderful day. I'm out.